Hi, my name is Dylan Stinson, and I'm a product manager for Tektronix. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply port extensions using the TTR500 VNA. So now that we've completed the calibration, let's go ahead and try and connect the DUT up to port 1 of the VNA. But wait, we have a problem. This female to female adapter can't connect to the DUT. So we're going to have to swap it out with the male to female version. But due to the electrical difference between the female to female adapter and the male to female adapter, we're going to have to take another calibration step called port extensions. We first need to determine the delay attributed by the male to female adapter. To do this, connect the female to male adapter to port 2, the cable on port 2, and to port 1 of the VNA. In Vector VPC, go ahead and click Measure and S21 to view the forward transmission. Next, click Format and Phase to view the phase. Note that the phase response of S21 without any DUT is linear, but not completely flat at zero. We need to add a port extension to make this line zero. To do that, go ahead and click Format and click on Group Delay to view the group delay. Hit Scale, Auto Scale, and go to Average and enable smoothing to be able to see the waveform better. Now you can see that group delay shows roughly 27 picoseconds uh, of group delay. So to add that in port extensions, go to Cal and Port Extension. Type in 27 picoseconds and check the box and click OK. So now our group delay is centered around zero and we can look at the phase and it's roughly at zero. And we can adjust the port extensions to get this right on the line. So there you have it. The phase response is now flat at zero degrees and we are now ready to make phase me measurements of our device under test. Thank you for watching this video.